What I'm going to show here is how to make this checkbox, when checked, change the color of this text here. So in order to do that, we need to right click on this box and do Format Control. And then click on the Control tab over here. And click in Cell Link. And let's link it to 04. And press OK. So now, when you check the box, it puts a true or false over in that cell. So now we can do an if statement to make this now an interactive checkbox. So what we do is go over to P4 here and type equals if that cell there equals true then I want it to display the name in this box here. And if it's not true, I just want it to be blank. And hit enter. So now, if you check the box, it's true and it displays the name that's in this box here when it's true. So if we uncheck it, it's blank. So now what I want to do is check it, go up to home, Conditional, well actually wait, we need to select this box first. Go up to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Click on Format Cells That Contain. Click Equal To. And in this box here, reference cell P4. And then click on Format. And let's change the color of the font to this. And press OK. And OK again. So now you can see that this changed the color to the font I wanted because it matched the condition. It said this cell here equals that one. So since it does equal that one, it's coloring it the color I wanted. If I uncheck this, our if statement took away the name over here. So now this no longer equals that cell. And that's how we were able, we were able to accomplish it changing the color when we ticked the checkbox.